Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to connect your PS5 controller to a Windows PC wirelessly. Now, first you're gonna need to make sure that your computer has Bluetooth connectivity. If it doesn't, you're gonna need to get a Bluetooth adapter such as this one here made by ASUS. This is a Bluetooth 5.0 USB dongle. So you plug this into any USB 2.0 port and it's gonna give you Bluetooth 5.0. This Bluetooth adapter retails for only 20 US dollars and I do have a link for it in the description. All right, so now we're on our Windows computer. I'm using Windows 10. We're gonna go to the settings and make sure that Bluetooth is on. So go to devices and then make sure that Bluetooth is on. Now it's really simple on the controller. All you have to do is press and hold two buttons at the same time, the PlayStation button and the share button. Hold those two buttons until you start to see it flash. And then you'll see the LED light around the touchpad flashing. Now back in the settings menu, we're gonna click on add Bluetooth or other device. We're gonna click on Bluetooth. And then here we should see one that says wireless controller input. Click on that, connecting, and that's it. Your device is ready to go. Go ahead and click on done. Go ahead and close the settings page. Now certain games on PC have a different way to configure the controller to the game, but many games are played through Steam. So here I'm gonna show you how to configure the PS5 controller for Steam. Go ahead and launch Steam. Here's a little pop-up saying, if you're using a controller, use Steam in big picture mode. We're gonna go ahead and X that for now. We're gonna go to the top where it says Steam, and then go down to settings. Then from here, we're gonna scroll down to controller. Then we're gonna go to general controller settings. Now here you have various options. You're gonna definitely wanna make sure that the PlayStation configuration support is checked. Also, you can change the time that the controller turns off after inactivity, and then you'll see here detected controller. So if we click on that, now you have preferences, identify, and calibrate. If you click on identify, you will feel a rumble on the controller. Now you can click on calibrate if you're having any issues with your joysticks. I'm personally not, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. And then at the top right, you do have some preferences. You can rename the controller. You can turn rumble on or off. There's player slot LED. You can turn that on or on only with multiple controllers. I just leave it at the default off. Now, a really cool thing here is you can actually change the color of the LED around the touchpad. So as I move it, it changes the color. As you can see right there, that's like a pink. You can go to blue. We can go to green, pretty much any color, and it changes it instantly on the controller. That's really, really dope. You can also change the brightness and the saturation of the light. Then go ahead and click on submit. Then you can go ahead and click on back, click okay. And now whatever game you launch on Steam can play with the PS5 controller. Now if you're done playing and you wanna turn off your PS5 controller when it's connected to PC, all you have to do is hold the PlayStation button and the options button right here on the right, hold those two until the power goes off. So we're gonna click and hold. and now it's off. It takes roughly about 10 seconds or so. Now, if you have a PS5 and you're using this for both PS5 and PC, this controller is gonna stay hooked up via Bluetooth to your PC. So when you press the PlayStation button, it's not gonna automatically turn on your console. Your console is no longer synced to this controller. You're gonna have to resync that manually if you wanna put this back on your PlayStation. So there you guys have it. That's how you use a PS5 controller on a Windows PC wirelessly. Again, I do have a link for that Bluetooth adapter in the description. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.